everybody. It is time for the next workout, which is going to be Total Body Boot Camp. Um, for those of you from Colorado Athletic Club Boulder that take my Monday class, this is going to mimic that. Um, for the rest of you that are watching this, it's a great workout no matter what. It's four minutes per muscle group. So we'll do four minutes of legs, chest, back, triceps, biceps, and shoulders to get a full hour workout. We've got some time at the end. We'll do some core and then we'll stretch. So we're going to start with a warm up, but the first of all, the things that you need today, I'm going to be using a dome. You can use a bench. You can just stay on the floor um, for different exercises. If you want, you can use the stairs in your home, um, whatever works, um, but you don't need that. I'm just going to use it today um, as a fun toy. Um, we're going to use hand weights. I've got a five, eight and a 10 pounder for me. Um, some things I'm going to go a little bit heavier, some things a little bit lighter. Here's my girl. Um, and then I've got a band. So I do have one of these loop bands, um, but we won't really be using it today. I figured more people might have the tubing band, um, but comment if you don't, if you have this, um, my next workout, I'll put this in it instead. So I just kind of wanted to show you the differences. So once again, four minutes per muscle group, um, and we'll get started. All right. We are going to start with a warm up though, so make sure you've got enough room to do a little bit of warming up. And we'll get started. Here we go. Take a deep breath up. Exhale down. March it out. Right foot leads. It was a heck of a day for me, folks. I hope that you are all doing magnificent out there. Four, three, two, tap those toes on top. Right, left. Four, three, two, step it up, right face it. Take it up, up, down, down. For those of you that might have ordered that BOSU online, knowing that your gym's not going to be open for a while, two things you need to know about the dome. As you blow it up, you want it stiff enough that when you stand on it, your foot doesn't sink all the way in. Two points of reference on this dome. That little circle on top is called the target. That flat surface on the bottom is the platform. Here we go. Take it up top, jog it out. Four, three, two, tap those toes behind. Four, three, two, toes go side to side, reach. Four more, three, two, one, take it to the floor, march it out. This is that same workout we did when we warmed up in the last strength workout. Four more. Three, two, V-step on the floor. Here we go, take it out, up, in, in. Start to bend those knees, get a little bit more. Four more. Three, two, switch your lead leg, go left, left, right. Two more. Now tap those toes on top. Repeating that same sequence on the other side. Four, three, two, step it up, let's face it. If you're feeling a little bit better, a little bit warmer, you can start to jog it up. Two more. Take it up top, jog it out. Now lunge those legs behind, left, right, left, right, four, three, two, side to side, reach across. Now remember, if you don't have a dome, you don't have a step, you're doing this on the floor. Totally works. Four, three, two on the floor, march it out. V step. Out, out, in, in. Get low. Two 
Two more. Bring those feet together, about hip width apart. Stabilize those feet. Here we go. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. We want to make sure all those joints in the lower body are warmed up and ready to go. Remember, four minutes of legs coming up. Three, two, last one. Hold this down. Hold here. All the weights back in your heels. Make sure you can wiggle and tap those toes. Now lift that body up. Lift, lift. Tiny little pulses. Eight more, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. All right, folks, grab a sip of water if you need it. We're moving into that first muscle group, legs. With our weight, we're gonna be doing a squat on top of that dome. Again, floor, bench, wherever you wanna go with it, totally fine. We're not doing anything with the arms though. So you can grab a little bit heavier weight. Weight can be to your side, at your shoulders, whatever's most comfortable for you. Here we go, one minute, lower down. I'm on that wobbly surface, so I might be going a little bit slower than you guys at home if you're on the floor. That wobbly surface makes that core kick in a little bit more and engages more muscle fibers in that lower body. Keep breathing. Halfway there. 30 seconds to go. We've got four different exercises. One minute a piece equal four minutes per muscle group. Almost there. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Now set those weights down. Grab that band. This second exercise is known as TikTok. I'm gonna move that dome off to the side so you can see me. Standing on that band. Levels of resistance. Arms down to the side. Hands at the hips. Hands at the shoulder, you choose. Tick tock, right and left, up. We're working that outer hip, outer thigh. Eight, seven, six, five, four. I need a bigger clock. Three, two, angle back. Work those glutes. Here we go. Take it back. We go through these four exercises pretty quick. At the end of the four, we stretch out that muscle group and move on. Hang in, here's four. Three, two, back to the side, lateral lifts, up, 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 up. Starting to feel it, hopefully. Now remember, if you have one of those loop bands, you can still do this. Place that band either around your ankle or right above the knee, whichever fits and feels best for you. Two more. Angle back, here we go. Nice work, folks. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Set that band down. We're on to exercise three of four. We've got hip raises. So we're gonna be down on the floor for this. Feet are gonna be elevated. I'll put mine on my dome. Again, stair, bench, anything. Here we go, lift those hips. You're looking for a tight core, squeezing through those glutes and hamstrings. Lower down, lower down. Lift up, lower down, lift up. Really squeezing, try to get that straight line all the way up when you lift. Lower and lift, lower and lift. No right foot only, here we go, lower down. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Four more, <laughs> that's my cat. Two more, left side, here we go, lower down. Lift up, lower down, lift up. Four more, three, two, both feet down, here we go. 10 more seconds. 
one and done. Give it a relax. Roll yourself up. Fourth exercise, we have a reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. Again, we aren't doing anything with that upper body, so you can use a little bit heavier hand weights. Here we go. Lunge back, right foot. Coming forward, lunge back left. Alternating side to side, folks. Get low. Chest is lifted. Core is tight. Make sure as you lunge back, you're lunging back far enough that you can see your front toe. So I'm going to give you a side view. Keep going. Nice. So a little bit later in the day, so I'm having a hard time seeing my clock. But don't worry, we're still within that minute. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Set those weights down. There's our four minutes of legs. Extend that right foot forward, heel down, toe up. Hinge forward at the hips. Feel that stretched on the back side of those legs. Hamstring. Point those toes into the floor. Roll that posture up. Pull that leg behind. Grab onto the ankle, not the toes. Flex that foot. Drive that knee down. Stand up nice and tall. So which sides? Heel down, toe up, hinge forward. Point those toes down towards the floor. Roll that posture up. Heel the glute. And release, shake it out. We're moving into that second muscle group, folks. We've got a bench press. I want you to grab a set of hand weights. We're going to be in what's known as a bridge position. I'm going to grab those tens again for me. All right, bridge position. You're going to sit in front of whatever you've got. If it's a bench, I'll show you a different way. But if you've got a soft surface, you're leaning into that surface and lifting those hips. If you're flat on the ground, you can do this as well. If you are on a bench, a hard surface bench, you're gonna be all the way flat with legs up into that bench position. It is best if you're elevated a little bit, that way you get more of a range of motion. When you're flat on the ground, you hit the ground. That's your limit in range of motion. If that's all you got, that's all you got. Go with it. All right, into position. Lift those hips, squeeze, lift, lift. Nice, I'm gonna go uh, face on feel here because I don't have my clock. Typically when I teach this in the studio, I can't do this one because the headphone falls off my head. Seven, six, we're not gonna be done. Don't worry, I'm not cheating you out here. Four more. Three, two, halfway and hold. Here we go, lift, tiny little pulses. You're still squeezing those glutes, lifting those hips, core is tight. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, press up, give me eight more. Here's eight. Seven, six, five, four more, three, lift those hips, two, one and done, relax. Come on down, set those weights aside, grab your band, second exercise. We've got a fly. So take that band back behind your back, underneath your arms. This is the biggest safety feature here. If you go on top, 
you create a noose. Not what we're looking for. Handles, sorry, hands in those handles, but it's not very tight. So grab on closer to the armpit. Nice solid stance with those legs. Arms come out. Let's fly away. Here we go. Take it out. Squeeze in. Out. Squeeze in. Exhale as you bring those arms together. Inhale as they go wide. Nice. We're gonna go into those pulses, just like we did with the chest press. Hang in there, here's four. Three, two, one. I want you to take it halfway out, about that 45 degree angle. Now tiny little squeezes in. Hang in, hang in, here we go. Here's eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, now press towards me. Press, press, press. Four, three, two, take it out wide again. Fly out, out, out. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful, set that band down. Second exercise complete. Third one, let's take that dome, bench, whatever you've got. Let's have a hard surface on top. I'm gonna go sideways so you can see a profile. Hips up under, belly button pulled in. It's a Spider-Man crawl. So right foot comes up to right wrist, left up to left. Nice, then give me a push up. Right, right, left, left. Push up. If you need to drop down to those knees at all, do it on the push up. Then come back up to those toes and reach for that Spider Man crawl. You get a nice hip flexor stretch here and an isometric throughout that chest. You've got about 15 seconds. Finish this out. Three, two, one and done. Nice work. Fourth exercise. I'm gonna grab a little bit lighter hand weights here. We're gonna be doing punches. A little bit quicker, so a little bit lighter. Grab the weight of your choice. I've got fives right now. Here we go. You want to make sure when you do these punches, you've got a slight bend in your knees. Hips are tucked under, but they're still working. You shift a little bit side to side with each hit and a slight bend in that elbow at all times. Never lock that elbow out. You're actually using the chest, the shoulders, the biceps, a little bit of everything here. If you've taken my TBB class at CAC, you know this is when I say, you're welcome. Hang in, hang in, hang in. You've got about 10 seconds left. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Set those weights down. Stretching out that chest. Take those arms out wide. If your flexibility allows it, interlock those fingers and lift. My cat is being quite entertained right now. So thank you for that. You're keeping me going today. I need you as much as you think you need me. We're into back, hinge over row. This can be done either on the floor, the bench, the dome, whatever you like. I'm gonna grab my eight pounders for this on top of the dome. Hinge over row. So bend in those knees, hinge forward at those hips. You're gonna pull, squeezing those shoulder blades together. 
together. Just gotta remember to look at the clock. Pull. 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 Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Imagine you have a pencil on your spine. You gotta hold it there. Squeeze it tight. Lift. 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 And take it to the floor so I can see the clock. You've got about 20 seconds left. Squeeze. Squeeze, slight bend in those knees. Core is still tight. Pull. Pull. Three, two, one, and done. Set those weights down. Second exercise, we've got a back pull. Grab that band. You're gonna have one handle in each hand. Grab towards the center of that band, forming two big loops, two big mouse ears. Take that band forward. Slight bend in those knees. Here we go, pull. You're pulling that band in towards the chest, squeezing those shoulder blades again, together in the back. Four, three, two. Now that right arm's gonna go high, left arm low. Here we go, pull apart. Pull apart. Keep that band nice and tight. As you can see in the middle, I'm not letting it go to a wet noodle sensation. Keep it tight. You've got a constant contraction going on in that back. Here we go, here's four. Three, two, left arm high, right arm low. Here we go. Pull, pull, slight bend in those knees, core is tight. Never lock a joint out. Pull. Eight, seven, six, five, perfect timing. Four, three, two, one, and done. Nice work. Roll those shoulders around a little bit. Third exercise, we're gonna be in plank on the floor with a one-armed row. So it's the same motion we were doing here, except now we're in plank, we're getting that core. Grab the hands we sit work for you. Come on down. One hand weight on each hand weight. Plank position, if your legs are a little bit wider, it makes it a little bit easier. Just scoot back just a little bit here. Here we go, right arm up. Try to keep those hips square to the floor as much as you can. We're going to shift a little bit, but try not to make it too big. Little 90s tunes for you today. About 25 seconds. Hang in there, folks. You've got this. Forward, right leg back. 
Find your balance, lift those left toes up off the floor. Close your eyes. Four, three, two, one. Open those eyes, all four limbs down. We still have a few seconds. I want you to lift that right one again. Left leg, right arm, back to center, switch sides. Back to center, switch sides. Back to center, switch sides. Keeping those toes up off the floor, back behind you. Nice, now relax, come on up. Take a deep breath up. Hold those arms up high, exhale as you lean towards the right. Bring that stretch up. Exhale, lean left. Bring it up. Relax those arms down, shake them out. All right, folks, we've completed legs, chest, back. We're moving into the smaller muscle groups. Those triceps are coming up. Skull crushers is your first one. You wanna grab a set of hand weights if you've never done this exercise. Do not fret, we will not crush your skull. All right, I'm grabbing eights for this. You're gonna be in bridge position again. Hand weights are up. You're going to bend at the elbow, bringing those hand weights right down next to your temple and bring it up. Lift through those hips, squeeze those glutes. Here we go. We would typically do this with a big barbell with added weight, so a little bit heavier than what you might have at home. If you do have a barbell, go for it. I just don't have one at home. I have almost every other toy, but no barbell. Nice, if those arms are getting a little bit tired, you can always go one arm at a time. Or if you add those weights together in the center and come down, it makes it a tad bit easier. However, those hand weights are right at your skull, right at that forehead, hence the title, Skull Crushers. Do not drop your weights. Make me that promise. Three, two, one, beautiful work. Relax those hips down, roll it up. Second exercise, grab that band. We have an overhead press. We're gonna spend 30 seconds on each arm, so that's not a lot of time. Place one handle on the floor, right hand grabs onto that handle. Step on that band with your right foot, swing that left leg through. Band goes behind, hold the elbow forward and press. We're gonna go a little over 30 seconds, just gonna let you know that. Press, press. Hold it halfway for me and pulse out. Lift, 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 lift. To make this exercise harder, step closer to the handle in your hand. To make it a little bit easier, step closer to the handle on the floor. No single counts, here we go. Press up, four, three, Two, and one. Nice work, release. Let's switch sides. Left hand, left foot, swing that right leg through, hand behind the head, here we go. Hold that elbow and press. Press, press, press. Lift, exhale, inhale. Four more, then we pulse, here's four. Three, two, hold it halfway, tiny pulses up, 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 up. This should feel amazing. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, give me five singles, here's five, four, three, Two, and one, nice work. Relax that arm down, that's your second exercise. We're moving into the third 
kick back. So grab a weight, you can be on the dome on the floor. Hand weights are gonna start right here at the hip, elbows press back. You're gonna extend and bend, extend and bend. I'm gonna go to the dome on this one, but I'll still face sideways so you can see the motion. I'll go this way so I can see my clock. Here we go, starting at the hips, press back. Here we go, press back, press back. The biggest mistake folks make is swinging those arms all the way forward, then you've got momentum. We're looking for strength, not momentum. Press, press. Press. We're working the back of those arms, those triceps. Exhale, inhale. All right, we've got about 15 seconds left, folks. Hang in. Ten seconds, let's count it down. Ten, nine, eight, I'm doing reps, not seconds. Six more, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Nice work. Fourth and final exercise, we have dips. Have a seat on a platform of some level. You can do this flat on the floor. A little bit more challenging to actually feel. You're elevated on a step, a chair, a bench. Even up here on like a bay window would have worked. Right behind the hips, legs extend out. Release those hips from the surface. Arms do all the work, here we go. Lower down, press up, lower down, press up. The more of an extension you have in those legs, the harder this exercise becomes. The more of a bend you put in those knees, a little bit easier. You choose. We are gonna change this pace as we go through this exercise. You are about halfway there. Let's speed it up slightly. Here we go. Lower down, up, down, up, down, up. If you're feeling spunky today, lift one foot up. Place that foot on the floor, other leg raises up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, both feet down, keep going. Four, three, two, one and done. Have a seat or stand, your choice. Shake those arms out. Reach one arm back. Gentle pressure on that elbow, tricep stretch. Switch sides. At the end of this class, we'll stretch out all the muscle groups again. We just like to stretch them out in between each set. Gives you a chance to grab a drink of water. Think about the, what weight you want to use for that next exercise. We're moving into biceps. Basic bicep curl. Basic bicep curl. Figure out what weight works for you. Dome, floor, bench, balance on one leg, your choice. Arms down, elbows in, palms up. Here we go, curl up. Exhale, inhale. Try to get full range of motion, all the way up to those shoulders, all the way down. Lift, lift, lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, two up, two down, change that pace, take it up, up, down, down, exhale up, inhale down, up, up, down, down, just about 10 seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, the last one, release. Set those weights 
down, grab that band, second exercise. This one's called the gun show, folks. It's a cross curl. We're standing on that band with both feet, one foot to make it slightly easier, but both feet for a little bit more of a challenge. Start there, take a foot out. I can't see you. I can only assume you're trying to challenge yourself today. Palms up, right hand's gonna come up to that left shoulder. This is why it's called the gun show, so you can see them. Left arm up to the right shoulder. Here we go. Lift, lift. Again, slight bend in those knees. Hips tucked under, core is tight, lift through the chest. We are gonna pick up this pace again. It's gonna get crazy fast. Hang in, lift, lift, lift. Four more. Three, then we're gonna speed it up. Two, a little bit quicker. Here we go, right, left, right, left. Four, three, we're getting faster. Two, a little bit faster, let's go. Up, 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 up. Hang in, hang in, here's eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and done. Nice work, set that band down. Let's see, ooh, hammer curl run. We're gonna hammer curls when your palms are faced inward and you're gonna use running arms. For my track kids, you know exactly what this is about. We're gonna pick up that pace as we go, so a little bit lighter on that weight. You're grabbing heavy weights, you have a chance of actually pulling a shoulder. We don't wanna go there. So grab your lighter weights, get ready, here we go. Right, slight bend in those knees, core is tight. Starting nice and easy, nice and slow. Lift, 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 lift. Four, three, two, a little bit quicker. Take it to a jog. Oh, there's my dog. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, a little bit quicker. Let's go, let's go. Sprint, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and done. Shake those arms out. Fourth and final exercise, if you've taken my TBB class before, is the bicep push. You need some sort of weight in your hands, whether it be the dome, the uh, weights, if you have your barbell at home, whatever it is, we've got a bicep push. I'm gonna go with the dome. So what you're looking for is a 90 degree bend at the elbow. You're simply going to push this weight out, holding that 90 degree bend for 60 full seconds. Here we go, folks, push, push. It starts off feeling amazing for about 15 to maybe 20 seconds. Then whatever you've chosen for a weight tends to get heavier. I don't know how it happens, it just does. Push, 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 push. <laughs> Everyone in this household is doing some sort of workout. My son was downstairs doing karate. My husband was in the garage riding the bike. And I'm thinking my husband's done. The dog is welcoming the husband, the dad, back into the household. <laughs> oh my God. Hang in there. You've got about 15 seconds left. Let's go, push, push. 10, nine, you try it. Eight, seven, I was getting a weird look from my son. Six, five, Four, three, two, one, and done. Nice work. It's gonna feel amazing now to straighten those arms out. And let them hang down there. Swing them out. Palm up, fingertips angle down. If you do not have any wrist issues, gentle pressure is fine here. 
Switch sides. Shake it out. All right, folks. Legs, chest, back, triceps, biceps. We've got shoulders. Last major muscle group. Then we'll finish off with some core. So shoulders. Oh, yeah. Upright row to an overhead press. You're going to grab a set of hand weights. I do suggest doing this on the floor. Upright row means elbows are higher than wrists. You're close to your body. Then you switch that motion. Elbows low, hands high. Pressing up. We're going to do three of those. And then elbows higher than wrists. Lower that weight down close to your body. All right. Let's try it. 10 pounds. We're looking for a challenge today, right? We need it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Upright row. Elbows high. Flick it. Overhead. Three, two, one. Bring it close to the body. Lower down. Take it up. Flick it. Three, two, one. You've got this. Up. Three, two, one. Lower down. Bring it up. About 25 seconds, folks. You've got this. Up. Three, two, one. We've got one more rep in us, yeah? Here we go. Take it up. Three. Two, one, nice work. Lower down, perfect timing. Shake it out. Grab that band, second exercise, posterior delt. We're gonna work the back of that shoulder. Standing on the band, one or two feet. I think everyone can probably do two on this one. If it does become a little bit challenging, just take one foot out. Hands go back behind the hips, you're gonna lift. Slide bend in those knees. The further you take your arms, sorry, your legs apart, a little bit more challenging. Lift, lift. We'll eventually pick up this pace as well. Hi, sweetie. Lift. That is her favorite spot, everybody, because she is a border collie. Her job is to protect. So she looks out the window day and night and just watches people pass by. Lift, lift, lift. We're gonna go a little bit faster. Here we go. Up, 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 up. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, done. Nice work. Set that band down. Third exercise, we've worked the top, we've worked the back, now we've gotta work the front, frontal raise. I'm going with eight pounds for this. One arm at a time, here we go. Lift up, up, tip it over, lower it down. Up, up, tip it over, lower it down. Nice and controlled on the way up, as well as that way down. Don't just drop that hand weight. Keep that muscle contracted. Up, up, tip it, lower down. Up, up, tip it, lower down. Now, towards the end of this, we're gonna add both arms together. It doubles that weight. It gets much tougher. We're wearing the muscle down before we get to the top part. Let's see what you got. One more each side. Up. Here we go, both arms. Let's try for four. Up, tip it. Three more. Up, tip it. Two more, here we go, take it up. Tip it. Last one. Up, tip it, lower down, shake it out. All right, fourth and final exercise. We've got a squat with a one-armed press. So I'm gonna hang on to the same weights that I've got. You can be on top of your dome for this or on the floor, on your bench, whatever it may be. 
but those hand weights are gonna go right here on your shoulders. We're gonna squat down, press up with that right arm. Squat down, press up with the left. Squat down, press up right. Keep going, folks. I'm gonna just turn the music back on. I don't know what happened. Squat down, press up with the right. Squat down, press up with the left. There we go. Here comes my girl again. Ten seconds. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, finish it out, one, you did it. Set those hand weights down. All right, we're going to stretch out that entire upper body here. Bring one arm across the body. Bring that same arm forward, press back at the elbow, tricep stretch. Take a deep breath up, exhale down, left arm comes across the body, bring that same arm forward, press back at the elbow, triceps, open up those arms, take a deep breath up, exhale down, bring those feet together, Hinge forward at the hips, hamstring stretch. Hands on those thighs, bend those knees, roll yourself up. Roll those shoulders back, one leg back behind. Heel the glute, quadricep stretch. We're still gonna do core, you are not done. We're probably about 45, 50 minutes, somewhere in there. So we're going to finish this out. Nice work. Now a little bit wider than hip width apart. Bend those knees and twist. Start to add a little squat in the middle. Here's eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, now we're gonna reach that arm up and over. Here we go, squat, press. Really reach, you're looking for that stretch now. We're not lifting up the shoulder, no weight added. Working that oblique. Here we go, now squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift. You're on that left side, eight of them. Four more, here's four, three, Two, one, switch sides. Here we go, lift, press. Four more. Three, two, one, twist it out again. Just kind of getting that core a little bit more warmed up before we take it down. I'm gonna focus today's core, the little bit we've got left on that dome. If you don't have a dome, do it on the floor. No worries at all. Reach up. Four, three, two, one. Here we go, right side, lift, lift, lift. Four more, here we go, four. Three, two, left side, here we go, reach. Four more, four, three, two, one, let's take it to the dome. All right, folks, if I look at my clock, if I started this right when we got started, we're right at about 50 minutes. 
49 minutes, 15 seconds. So I want you to position your hips about halfway between the platform and the target, that little circle on top. Hands are gonna go back behind your hips. Lift up, remember you can do this on the floor. We're gonna tuck in and extend. Try to lay as flat as you can. Lift, extend. Give me four more. Three, two, take those knees right and left. Right, left, right, left. Four more. Three more. Two, one. Feet down, give it a good stretch up. We're gonna do that one more time, then we're adding on. Hands behind the hips, legs come up, tuck in, extend, tuck in, extend. You're almost there. Three, two, knees go right and left. Here we go. Right, left, right. Now we're gonna pike up. Here we go. Lift, three more, two, <laughs> oh, if you can only see what's happening on that side of the room. It's pure entertainment. All right, give it a little stretch there. Move those hips down just a little bit further. Re or lower yourself down to that back. <laughs> Match the curvature of that toe. Hands back behind the head. Here we go. Take it up for two. And down for two. Full sit up here. If I really wanted to embarrass my family, I would run up there, grab the camera, and turn it on them. Because they're much more entertaining right now than I am. Their workout's done. We're still going. Nice work, everybody. Three more. This is why I film when they're usually not in the house. Two more. Last one. Now we're going to do that again. Take it back. Bring it up, stand up. So you're adding the squat in there. Lower down, back, up, stand. Remember, if you're on the floor and not the dome, a little bit more challenging. This matches the curvature of your spine. So it's nice and gentle on your back. We're doing two more, that's it. Last one. Nice work. Now we've got what's known as a dead bug. It's gonna be our last exercise. It's tough though. Many different levels to a dead bug. <laughs> Completely dead, partially dead, I'm kidding. Um, what you're gonna do is balance on that dome. Feet come up, arms come up. This right here is a core exercise, folks. You need a lot of strength in that neck and shoulders. Hold your body up. Now if, and only if, you feel up to it, take one arm back. And then take the other one. Take one leg out. Bring it in. Take the other leg out. Now opposite side, opposite leg. Here we go. You can hold that bug. You don't have to go here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, you made it. Roll yourself up. Whew. Great work, folks. On my clock, it says almost 54 seconds. So great work. That's your hour workout today. All right. I'm guessing I will probably do, yet this week, another interval type class. Um, another core class because that's the biggest demand. So what my track kids love. Um, if there's any other suggestions of things you'd like to see, please comment below or um, comment on my Facebook page, wherever. Get a hold of me and I'm happy to do whatever you like. Have a beautiful week, everybody. Mwah. Enjoy.